Chris out here again in uh, the, the lovely Survival Dispatch uh, 100 Acre Wood that we, <laughs> we now have. Uh, again, with Joel Graves. So we're shooting some more videos about plants. You've seen me and um, John talk about this one before, especially people in the Southeast again. Does this grow in Arkansas? Yeah. This is, okay, so this yeah. is in your neck of the woods too? So me and John have talked about this one before. But let's hear a, the professional opinion of what all this is good for. So. Well, so like this time of year, well, obviously. Actually, we should say what this even is. Okay, yeah, this is beautyberry. Beautyberry. Or right. Calicarpa Americana, uh, yeah. if you're into the Latin, which to me is important. It just helps us know we're talking about the same plant because, you know, he, he's out here in Alachua County. And yeah. I'm, I'm down in, in on the north side, and yeah. he might call that a doohickey, and I call it a pumpernickel or something. That's just how it goes. Yeah. Uh, Latin helps us make sure we're talking about the same thing. But so to most people, they know that these get really cool looking berries, very beautiful. Balls of red, kinda, like purple. Purplish, yeah. Periwinkle. This doesn't have their, that on there right now. And as far as an edible, it it's a unique flavor, but it's not very palatable. It's kind of grainy. Yeah. It, it makes really good jelly. The texture, the, the mouth appeal is not yeah. there. And it's like that old line from um, Crocodile Dundee, you know? Yeah, you could live on it. Yeah. But it tastes like shit. So. But he, like in a pinch, what this is useful for is if you were to be able to smell through the video, you could smell the aroma of this plant and it's it's very pungent. Yes. And so it can help with insects. And I love stuff like this that's been proven by science. I, yes. I believe it was UNF that did research on this, comparing it to DEET, and it was almost as effective. Almost as effective, yeah. And when the old timers used to use this. They would rub it on their horses to keep the horse flies off the yep. horses and stuff like that. And it was, back then it was just an old wives' tale. It was just what you did though, because that's what but worked. Now, come to find out there was something to There's it. There's potent it, yeah. stuff in here. And, and one way that I've used it in just my day-to-day -day life, not you know just like surviving off the grid is, I don't like to put DEET on my children. I have a couple young yeah. children. And so I'll make like a hydrosol just with, with these leaves and that's what I spray on them. And it works. You have to, Spritz it on a lot more than yeah, a can of a deep, more but, often, but it's safer. To, too, with doing it that way, because, you know, if I'm out and it's really buggy, like today, it's not bad, we're not having a problem. You can take these, like he's talking about, and just crush them and rub them on your yeah. skin. Some people, though, will have a bit of a reaction to that. It can be a little irritating. Um, what I did for my kids when they were little is I would cut little limbs of this, several of them, and, and actually weave a little garland. Yeah. And have them wear it around their neck. Nice. And it kept the bugs away. You know, because you don't want to rub it all over their skin. But again, bruise the leaves up because that really releases that stuff. It's the oils. And like like Joel said, if you guys could smell it. And the next time you're out wandering around and you see a, blue, a beauty berry bush, grab it, crush one of those leaves up. It's a very unique smell. Very unique smell. And you can tell why bugs don't like it as soon as you smell it. You know, I mean, it's not unpleasant, but bugs don't like it. So, But again, as a food, you, there's no berries on here at the moment, but you can see this is the stem where the berries were. They, they always come on these joints. They'll be... Uh, off either side. It, it usually makes like a little whirl, yeah, a little a whirl, whirl around right around them. them. It's very um, unique looking. There's not too much that yeah. looks like it. They make a very pretty jelly and a pretty tasty jelly, but yeah. very pretty jelly. But uh, yeah, as far as just eating the berries, not so much. So, but that's that's beauty berry. That's another one. Want to do? We're, like I said, we're going to do some more of these today. You can, we'll trickle them out to you guys. But um, if you like the video, like the video for us. Comment below too. If you guys have comments on plants and stuff you want to know stuff about, post them up on the Facebook page too. We'll answer questions there as well. Um, because again, this is knowledge. Knowledge is a resource you can't lose unless you don't use it. So put your thinking caps on.